Hey guys, what's up? It's Maria Delia and today we are going to get into the four part series of date night makeup. The first part is going to be this very neutral look. You know, sometimes we just want something very chill, very just, you know, neutral, nothing too much, especially for our first nights out with our new boo or a new bae, whatever. So if you guys are interested in seeing that, you'll want to stay tuned. The next couple of looks are going to be a little bit more dramatic, but yeah, every video I'm basically going to get into getting ready with you guys as well as a little bit of chatty patty girl talk because why not, okay? I don't know about you, but getting ready is always a lot more fun than the actual date itself. And I'm not sure if that's a good thing yet, but it is what it is. It's how I feel. So that's where we are. So if you guys are interested in anything that I just said, you want to stay tuned. One, two, three. So as you probably already know now from the intro, I am going to be doing a makeup date night series and for this first look we're going to be doing something very neutral and very just easy you know sometimes especially for the first dates you just want to keep it you know calm nothing too extra something skin like so for the eye look we will be doing something extremely basic i might even just play with some golds and some browns honestly i'm not sure i'm kind of just going to do what i feel but i do know i want it to be very simple and neutral because i don't plan on wearing lashes. Sometimes I don't feel like wearing lashes with my eye looks. So, yeah. So, first <laughs> first and foremost, definitely want to take care of the skin. The primer that we're going to be using is the Clinique Moisturizing Lotion and the Clinique uh, Moisture Surge Gel. I put the gel down and then I put on the lotion. I already have done that step. So, Welcome, thank you for joining. First for the eye look, you're just gonna want to prime your eyes. I'm doing that with a concealer. I'm using the NARS um, Credient, Credient, Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Ginger, uh, medium two. So just adding that to the eyelid. I might be the only one, but I feel like getting ready for the date is actually a lot more fun than the actual date itself. Because nine times on the same, we really ain't getting dressed up for them. We're getting dressed up for ourselves because we want to be cute for ourselves. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I don't think we're wrong for that. Y'all let me know if I'm crazy. Does anybody else feel that way? Let me know down in the comments because that's just how I'm built. Next, I'm going to be going in with the Too Faced Sweet Peach. Actually, no. Am I going to be using the Revolution Makeup Revolution London palette? I don't know. Let's see. I think I will be using the Makeup Revolution palette instead. Hmm. And I'm not gonna actually start on the outer corner because I have like, I do have hooded eyes. It's just like really weird because they're not as hooded as they could be, but they're still pretty hooded. So I have to be like very strategic on how I do makeup with these eyes. But I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette for the lid and then i will use the revolution for the outer corner so i'm going to be taking like a fluffy brush and i'm going to be applying the georgia it's like a shimmery bronzy color and i'm just going to apply that to the lid Oh, that is so pretty. Yes, I love it. So like I said, I wanted this look to be very like neutral. Um, Nothing too like crazy. Sometimes, you know, especially if you're on like your first date, you want to definitely make sure your makeup is like, you know, just not too much. Just something very simple. Or at least that's my approach typically for my first dates. And I know it's getting cold outside. So people are getting a little bit more cuppy, going a lot more dates um, than they were. Summer's over. Kind of sad about that. I am thankful though that Drake did drop when he did because I mean I mean summer was cool but I mean it didn't summer enough for me did anybody else like feel that way because it just I mean it gave what it should have gave but just not as much as it should have gave does that make sense and because of that I'm really not looking forward to fall so <laughs> so I feel like um music having like a good album to get me through the colder months is always a plus for me because yeah i mean i feel like nowadays everyone drops music that 
like a nice single but never like a real like work of art to where the whole entire album you could just press play and you're just like you know content i don't feel like that's a thing nowadays and it kind of aggravates me a little i'm not even front um next i'm going to be taking the makeup revolution palette and i'm going to be using the shade mm, do i want to go that dark I kind of want it to be nice and airy. So first I'm going to take Loyal from the Makeup Revolution palette. It's like a, a taupey brown. And I'm just going to add that to the outer corner. I'm just going to blend that into what we've already done here. It's like a nice little transition. And I have to be careful not to like go too far out here for me. Just because if I do that, I start looking like very... I don't know, just very dramatic. So I'm not going to do that for this look. Oh, this is perfect. It blends into that perfectly. I'm going to take some of it into the crease of my eye. Again, I'm just playing around. I want this look again to be very, very subtle. Yeah. I'm down with that. This is a very natural, neutral look. You can definitely go darker if you like, but I think I'm going to stay here. Next, I'm going to be taking connect and I'm just going to line the outer corner with a angled with an angled brush You can make this as dramatic as you want, but I'm not going to bring this too far out myself. I feel like I'm either keeping it basic, keeping it natural, and then all of a sudden I'm Amy Winehouse. So I really have to be very <laughs> light-handed. And I recommend using like the eyeshadow liner technique when you don't really want to wear like black liner with your looks. I think I'm already aiming my house. Next, I'm going to be taking Affinity in the Makeup Revolution palette. I'm gonna have everything linked below, but I will be taking this shade Affinity and I'm just gonna take that into my inner corners. I'm gonna use my pinky. And I think that's gonna be it for the eyes. Again, I said I wanted this to be like very neutral look. But before I move on, I am going to go ahead and just put some mascara on so I can kind of get an idea of what we're working with. And then I'll probably go ahead and just move into my eyebrows. The mascara that I'm using is Better Than Sex. What in the world was that? Better Than Sex by Too Faced. I just feel like that's kind of ironic because this is a date makeup video. Oh my God, my eyebrows are looking like extremely dark on camera. But they're like not that dark, like, what the, oh my god, <laughs> this is crazy. Okay, you know what, we're going to leave them as is because me and my eyebrows and my skin have been having a fight every day that I've existed at this point since, I don't know, two weeks ago. So I'm going to move in now with the rest of my face. Now that the eyebrows are done and the mascara is on i might add another coat of mascara i'm not sure but i'm gonna go ahead and start getting into the face because it is time honey i spent way too much too long on my eyebrows and my eyelids and i'm kind of over it so for foundation we're going to be using clinique even better in the shade butterscotch i'm going to be going in with that as well as the l'oreal true match i'm going back to my old faithfuls you know what i mean i don't know like i feel like because i haven't been out and about lately, my skin is already showing showing we need a tan. It's, it's, it's giving very much, we're going back to our pale ways and um, I'm not sure how I feel about it just yet. But because of that, I will be using these two foundations and just mixing them together. Friends, you want... Mm -mm. Oh, back on. Certified Lover Boy. What is everyone's like favorite records off of that? Like, 
I really like 7 a.m. on Brito. I think that's what it's called. I could be wrong. I don't know. But you know what I'm talking about. Um, I really like that. That's a pretty dope record. I also like effing fans. There's like, people have been saying that that's about Rihanna. I really hope it's not because I, I mean, and I only say that because if it is about Rihanna, why, why, why would, why is that the reason why you guys aren't together? Because, ooh, you mean to tell me. Why in the world would you mess up something as great as that over a fan? I'm just, I, yeah, so I'm not, I'm not even going to believe that that's actually true. That's probably a lie. I get along better with your friends. And if you guys are wondering where I'm looking, I'm actually looking at my mirror here. I'm actually blind. I don't know if I ever told you guys that. Sometimes I wear contacts when I do these and sometimes I don't. Now that we got the complex shading somewhat going and also wait, I feel like when I add on foundation, my eyebrows start to look okay. I don't know. We're going to see. Then, <laughs> next, I'm going to go in with some concealer. I try not to be too over too heavy handed with the foundation just because we are going for more of a natural date night look. We didn't do anything dramatic with the eyes and we don't, we kind of want to, you know, keep that up. So again, for concealer, I'm using the NARS Creamy Radiant in the shade Ginger Medium 2. I decided that I like yeah I'll like maybe do the TikTok trends just for like the sake of videos maybe to, or to keep myself current with what's going on but for real for real if it's not broke I'm not gonna fix I mean not gonna fix it because the try one thing works for my face like I have to be careful about what I do when I change things as far as my makeup routine goes because you know like I don't know like Changing the most subtle thing will can sometimes end in disaster. So I'm going to let that dry down and I'm going to start to contour the face with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Cream Palette. I'm going to be using, I don't know, I'm feeling like I should use cinnamon and keep it real, real light and skin like just because my eyeshadow is not as dramatic. Y'all, please remember to blend out your contour, especially like here, the jawline, because I'll catch myself a couple times and I'm like, wow, I did not blend that out. Also, forehead trick. If you have a big forehead or you tend to wear your hair like pulled back all the time, adding some contour to not only just your temples, but like to round out your face, it makes a difference, boo. It really does. To blend out the concealer, I'm going to be using my e.l.f. Complexion Buzz. <laughs> no, I'm going to be using my e.l.f. Complexion Sponge. I'm just going to move that out. You can also use this to help kind of um, clean up any of the fallout from the eyeshadow that you got going on. I know that I'm going to be using it on the side here. I feel like a lot of times makeup is just really like you, your makeup is one it's going to be good if you have good skincare if you have a good skincare routine but then also like if you really spend the time to sit and blend your makeup just just take the time boo don't rush it don't rush perfection like don't okay let me not, not say perfection because no one's perfect but don't rush it don't rush it take your time That looks so good. It looks so good. I'm telling you, what forehead? What forehead? <laughs> oh my god. 
And then add in the concealer like right there. And I hope that the lighting is like not making my forehead look like super shiny, but I'm telling you like in person, girl, I have no forehead. It's non-existent. Okay, and I think I am going to contour my nose just like a little sneezel, sneezel schnad. Nothing too major. I'd be having too much fun make, putting on makeup. Like, I mean, like I said, getting ready for your date is like way more fun than actually like when you see the guy because then you actually have to like, what are some of y'all's like, by the way, I'm using the same contour palette that I did for my face um, to my nose in the same shades as well. Does anybody have like go-to things that they ask on the first date? Like what are some of the go-to questions that you ask your date to even see if you guys are compatible? Or are you somebody that kind of just like goes with the flow and like lets him, you know, guide conversation? Me, personally, mm, I'll be asking questions. <laughs> know how to let anyone like just take over and do the whole thing like I'm like I need to figure out if I if this is happening again like am I am I even interested in you because a lot of times people just look cute they 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 don't be outside of that they're not really attractive um yeah like and then a lot of times I feel like Sometimes men just leave with their wallet all the time. And I don't know, do I have the face of like, yeah, let me, like, I, and I don't know, do I have that face where it's just like, all I want from you is money or something? Because like, yeah, it's nice, but I'm also doing for myself and I have been doing for myself for quite a while. But like, please tell me that's not the only thing that you want to talk about. Like, how is your soul? Like, when's the last time you went to church? Do you even go to church? Like do you have a good relationship with your mother <laughs> these are the things that i want to talk about i do not want to talk about your multiple properties and things which again i love that you know i'm not saying that you know i don't appreciate any of those things i do but it's just like i don't want them to be the like the focal point of everything I haven't decided like what I'm gonna do about my nose contour, but I feel like I wanna do something different. Like I feel like I have one of those noses where you can't just do what everyone else does. I don't know. I could be wrong. But I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try a couple things and then once I like master it guys, I will I will definitely let you in on the secret. Oh my gosh, this this look is giving very much skin, neutral, natural. This is exactly what I wanted. Now to bake underneath the eyes, I'm going to be using the Airspun Loose Face Powder. I've been using Laura a lot, a lot lately and I kind of just want to take a break from her. Nothing against Laura. Laura, you've been great to me. But lately... I've been wanting to try different things. So also a trick that I've been learning with um I did not mean to it's fine. It's it's fine. I'm gonna just dust that off right now. But a trick that I've been learning with my um setting, like baking, you definitely want to press this in. You don't just want to do like a light tap, tap, tap. No, you need to press to make sure it gets in there. That's the whole purpose of you baking. You're basically trying to cover your pores. You're trying to make yourself look poreless. You're trying to make yourself like a filter. And the way that you do that is you press it in, baby. I'm not going to bake for long because, like I said, my skin has been acting up lately. So I'm going to go ahead and just dust it off with a powder brush. Next, I'm going to be going in with a, another powder. I'm going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me Deep, Medium Deep uh, Loose Finishing Powder just to set the rest of the face, help bring some more color back into it because we took a lot out <laughs> with the Airspun. It's the only thing I don't like about Airspun. I do feel like sometimes Airspun can give like a little bit of a flashback, um, but the way to like fix that is always just to go over it with um or at least buff it out a little bit with the with a nice finishing powder and i'm just pressing this in
Next, I'm going to be taking a little bit of the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and I'm just going to use that to clean up underneath my eyebrows. I feel like they're looking a little bit rough. Yes, we like her. She's okay. Next, I'm going to be going in with the NYX Dewy Finish Setting Spray. I need a lot of it because whew, I like I told you guys I have dry skin so okay now that that is done I'm going to be adding a little bit of highlighter I can't decide which highlighter I'm going to be using I think I'm going to be using the wet n wild highlighting powder in precious petals I feel like a little pink would do me a little good too for this look so I'm going to be adding that to the face lastly to like pull it all together i'm going to go back in with the eyeshadow that i used um i think it was affinity for the inner corner of my eye i'm just going to reapply that kind of touch up on that but i'm also going to apply some of that to underneath the brow bone so i went ahead and turned off the light because i did want to see how this look looks with natural lighting because sometimes with the studio lights like it could just make you look a lot more washed out than you actually are and i'm not i'm not washed out like i'm like under the eyes are nice and bright but not too bright and I don't know I'm, I'm looking very skin like to me so I'm gonna go ahead and add a brown liner the liner that I'll be using is by NYX and it is the shade Mason the lip gloss I'm going to be using is the NYX lingerie clear gloss it's like perfect all right, guys, and this is the final look. As you saw in the intro, don't forget to hit that like or subscribe button if you want to see more content like this. Until next time, peace.